What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to learn prompt engineering for learning languages, all right? So let's go back to our Flow GPT. I'm sorry if you guys get bored with Flow GPT, but uh, actually we have a very cool prompt uh, that is available here on this platform. So just type in languages and then click search, all right? It will take you here and there are like several different options here. Uh, not many options. Unfortunately, when you uh, only type in language and then click search, a uh, vast majority of prompts show up here are programming languages, not real human languages, right? So there are only like two or three of them. So let's pick this one, learning languages, right? So as you guys can see, uh, this is the prompt as an experienced English teacher. So you're going to be having conversations with English teacher, right? Um, with 10 years of teaching expertise, your task is to provide simplified meanings and examples uh, sentences for a given set of English words. Imagine explaining these concepts to a 10 year old, right? So, um, KGPT is going to explain you uh, from the perspective of a beginner, right? From the perspective of elementary students. So, KGPT is going to explain um, the meaning of its word. So, if you want to change this, feel free to customize it. So, for example, I want to change this to um, castle, right? And I'm also going to change this word to uh, end it. Or maybe I'm trying to change this to, you know, more complicated vocabulary, I guess. Nonetheless. All right, so then click send. So now we're going to run uh, the prompt and we'll see what's going to be the response. All right, so just wait. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, all right, so as you guys can see, it is still loading. Uh, ChatGPT is still preparing for the answers. But I think this prompt is amazing because you are telling ChatGPT like the role that ChatGPT is going to play, uh, which is an experienced English teacher with 10 years of experience in this case. And you also specify uh, the instructions like what ChatGPT should do. All right, okay, cool. So now ChatGPT is generating you uh, the table. So these are, you know, the vocabularies that we included um, on the prompt, right? So let me show you. I'm going to scroll up a little bit. Okay, so the first word here is castle, and meaning a big building where kings and queens lived a long time ago. Example, the princess lived in a castle on the top of a hill. All right, so um, ChatGPT have ChatGPT has like two different responses. The first one is uh, the meaning, and the second one is the example when that word is being used, right? So two types of responses, right? Uh, also the same thing with uh, the other words, uh, among, in it, all right? Okay, cool. So yeah, we've learned how to uh, utilize this prompt, learning languages. And in the next video, we're going to learn how to uh, utilize another prompt to help you learn languages and vocabularies guys so i think that's it i'll see you guys in the next video what's up guys welcome back to the course in this video um we're still going to learn about prompt engineering for learning languages um however we're not going to use uh, flow gpt anymore instead we're going to use aspose all right so i'm just going to show you like another tool that you can um consider to use for getting prompt for learning languages and vocabularies, right? So just type in um, language here, right? So language, or maybe just type in English, especially if you want to learn English. And as you guys can see, you have like three different options here. Um, so you have English translator and improver, right? Uh, depending on your need, make sure that you pick the one that will suit your uh, objective. You have English pronunciation helper, right? And also spoken English teacher and improver. So for example, you just want to improve your English. Why don't we try to use this prompt? So we're just going to copy this and let's go to our chat GPT and then paste it here. So I want you to act as an English translator, spelling, uh, corrector and improver. I'll speak to you in any language and you will detect the language, translate it and answer it in the corrected and improved versions of my text in English. All right. So here we go. I'm just going to enter, right? Of course, I'll do my best to um, assist you as an English translator and improve your text using more 
sophisticated language. All right, so I'm going to try it out. So I'm going to intentionally make a grammatical mm -hmm. mistake. All right, so I'm just gonna test it out. Correct uh, my grammatical mistake. I um, it foot yesterday. All right. So actually, it should have been eight because that's going to be the verb two uh, past tense. But we'll see if ChatGPT is able to fix that mistake. Right. All right. I consumed nourishment yesterday. Okay. Uh, pretty cool. So, uh, ChatGPT generated like a new response. Uh, that still has the same meaning, but with more uh, sophisticated um, version of English, right? So what about if I try to speak in different language and see if ChatGPT is able to translate that uh, sentence to English, right? So I'm going to speak in uh, my native language, which is Indonesian. So, um, Selamat pagi, something like this. And we'll see if ChatGPT is going to translate that word to English, right? Okay, I don't know why it takes uh, so long. All right, cool. So now it has been translated as you guys can see here, uh, which is great. All right, let's try to do one more thing here. I will intentionally do, um, intentionally create like grammatical mistake again, and then I will ask ChatGPT to correct uh, my grammatical mistake, right? So I'm going to type in uh, kind of the same thing here, uh, correct my grammatical mistake, right? And this time I'm going to make a pretty stupid mistake actually, see, um, or beautiful. It should have been says beautiful, right? Um, but we'll see if ChatGPT is going to correct this. See, it's beautiful, right? So yeah, that's how it works, guys. I know like these examples that I showed you are pretty basic, uh, but you can actually use this for you know any purpose, right? For any um, activity, you might want ChatGPT to generate uh, you a different phrase or paraphrase your uh, sentences, or maybe you want ChatGPT to translate um, your paragraphs, or maybe fix your grammatical mistake, or whatever your purpose is. Um, definitely, this tool. I'm sorry, this problem is going to be very useful, all right? So yeah, I, I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to learn uh, prompt engineering for um, email template, all right? So I'll see you guys there.